hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here welcome in cancer and i hope that you're doing well all right we're gonna get some messages out for you to see what's going on with your financial situation what are your financial blockages <clears throat> there are debris or there is debris there's debris uh there's debris a lot so we're gonna find out what's this debris and how to clear it away when it comes to your your finances i do hope that this works and brings healing to our all of us financial situation let money flow into um our lives and cleanse our uh our blockages when it comes to manifesting or money cancerians let's manifest a lot of money within this reading i really do hope you're here so um to really intend in this reading with me we're gonna get it going remember that you are a part of this reading okay so breathe with me <clears throat> intend focus um, on the areas which you need clarification when it comes to your money what avenues you feel need to be cleared out where do you feel there's stagnancy what do you what just focus on that area and we're going to get clarity for you here cancerian uh, we're going to just shuffle the cards and allow some messages to come out i'm, I'm going to interpret these um, through my divine inspiration and I hope that I'm able to do it well. Remember that these are general tarot card messages. And so all of the messages may not apply to all of you Cancerians. So take the messages that apply to you and the rest, let it fly. Oh, let's get started. I really, I want to, um, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support on my channel. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for sharing the videos with those you love and so hitting the subscribe button all of your support is greatly appreciated and now i'll begin to shuffle let's get some messages for cancer's financial situation angel spirits and guides okay hmm. angel spirits and guides so the first card you see out here is the five of swords for me the five of swords is because i'm saying something needs to be cleared out it could be something from your past a connection a child something someone from your childhood someone that uh you are attached to emotionally i hear severely why why would you be severely attached to someone or a situation, a business, it could have to do with a family, a family business perhaps, a family idea, some way, some, some, something that keeps you holding on to an old, I would say old fashioned way of thinking when it comes to money, all right? But you want to change that, you want to, I feel like you're, you want, it could be ideas, just the way you feel about money, what you've been told about money, by your own parents it could be as simple as that with a six of cups energy here this is past love uh past affection you know that it feels like nostalgia uh, it feels very old too it's not ugly it's it's kind of beautiful just things that you learn things that have been passed on to you um from your family you know some of you are looking to break away from that traditional way of looking at things um, you want to walk away, make changes, but you're a bit stuck, okay? But you do want a change of experiences when it comes to your financial situation. You're a bit stuck on moving away from your family, however that sounds or whatever that means for you. As I said, it could be beliefs. It can be a person that you're tied to. Okay, let's see. help me to understand this because the five of swords is because the swords energy for me is stability it's um stability it has to do with 
your belief system, you know, what makes you you, your integrity, your moral beliefs, your identity, your standards, your boundaries, your religion, what you live by. This is, this is the sword's energy. It actually helps you to make decisions because you know who you are. It's that kind of energy. So you act quickly because you already have an idea of what it is that you want out of this life. You have gathered yourself um, when it comes to your stability, your groundedness. For me, that swords energy. So it makes you swift and balanced in the way you act. You act according to what you want and to what you believe. So it's saying if you are living out of your integrity, you believe one thing is going to be good for you, but because maybe some people in your family have different ideas, you, uh, you, it's like you neglect how you feel about things, okay? You neglect what you know will work out best for you. You're putting aside your own sense of self, maybe to please uh, your family's ideas of how things work okay i know i have been i hope that makes sense okay um because i do feel like i'm i feel like i'm not being clear enough okay but the change is coming as i said because when you get to the six of swords it's that movement is taking place all right well, you're at the five, so it's as it does feel like that debris wanting change, being carried down the stream, a new avenue, and then at a at a block, a roadblock. And this roadblock is where you do have challenges with your belief systems, your sense of self, your identity, your your feelings of money, what you think money is. So maybe change up your belief patterns around money, and you're you're doing that, but I feel like you just don't. It feels like you're just standing here. It's not. It feels like you don't know what the next step to take is. You've come on this journey, and then you're just standing. You're just standing here, and everything. There's something here. It's I, and I feel it could be you. You're standing here, and so everything. All the other ideas or feelings that you have, all of them come and get backed up, right here. Because you're not allowing it to flow because it feels like um, it's like you are keeping yourself. You are the one that is standing there and, and you're not allowing things to flow. And you're doing it because there's something that you believe. You are the one that is telling yourself, no, you're going on this journey. And then you, you it's like you stop all of a sudden and you're like, nope. And you're not moving. And so everything that comes, that needs to flow through your experiences, whatever it is, is banking up right here because you're, you're contemplating. It could be that you're contemplating. You're in this mode of, if you know, like, hmm, questioning things, you know, with your, 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 on your chin kind of feeling. But it's like you're delaying. There's a delay. You are the one that is delaying. You're taking too much time. It's like, it's not even that you're distracted. But it's like you're purposefully delaying. And if this is not you, this could be another energy. Like someone is purposefully delaying you. For example, you know someone wants to throw a surprise birthday party and they purposefully distract and delay the other person by if trying to act like they're trying to figure something out like wait a minute i'm just trying to get this right just hold on let me get this right is the more you put this off trying to get things right or to is the you yeah that's what's causing that roadblock of flow when it comes to your finances something something that you believe or you're contemplating you're not sure about let's see what it is Let's see if the cards will answer me or if I'm going to have to figure this one out on my own. What is Cancerian contemplating here in this area of roadblock when it comes to their financial situation? What is this blockage? What is this doubt? 
self-belief lack of, of what action taking not take you're not taking action but why are you not moving what are you doubtful about what is it what is it there's so much things to flow into you there's so many things ready to flow and you're standing here like hold on but believe me allow all of these things to gather up and they're going to push you out of the way so you best believe that that's what happens in a flood all right um, you're going to need to express yourself and it's going there's going to be a burst sooner or later but you have the power now to decide what avenue you need to go through how much how how much you're going to be open to receiving you know you are the one to decide what are you afraid of anything to tell I do feel like the energy is within me and so if I just if I contemplate it for a little while I'll get the answer so some of you need to uh, relax to meditate to really allow some answers some clarity to come through for you but you're not for example you're just not sitting and looking at the bigger picture you're not you're you're so caught up in the moment of having to make the decision now or that it keeps you acting mentally but not physically okay some of you keep changing your mind there's so much you have going on maybe so many different ideas or so many different situations that you need to resolve at swords and you're not Oh, we do have the six and the ten. I like that. That is so beautiful to see, Cancerian. The six and the ten. Okay. All right. We may be having a breakthrough. We may be get receiving some breakthrough. Let's hope so. Let's hope we're going to receive some breakthrough within our financial situation. Let's hope so. By the end of this reading, Cancerians will have something. All right. The, the messages are and pause with the cards let's see what this is oh hey the messages are on pause i thought this, this feels like reassurance let me tell you what that feels like oh jesus okay this feels like we're just throwing this out here just to let you know who you are that's the energy here, you know. We're just letting you know who you are, Cancerian. Follow your heart into your abundance. Be beautiful. Be radiant. This is just, I'm letting you know who you are. Some of you are forgetting who you are. You are forgetting your radiance. There's something about your shine. You can shine your way through. You can create. There's something about your natural essence, your own light, in which when you follow your heart and just shine a light through you being you alone is enough that is how i'm feeling with this energy that came out it just wanted to reassure us that it's just you being you is abundant enough this is the eight of ace of pentacles this is abundant energy here and it's with your card the queen of cups cancer you're an abundant person look you have so much things going on for you so much love and i feel like your abundance is found in uh your love or your self-assurance the way you know who you are okay uh with the six of swords and the ten of swords i'm happy that we move from the five to the six it's talking about the clearance that we need here a breakthrough <sighs> So maybe you're about to make a decision or a decision will be made for you. But it feels like you could be the one about to make a decision. You're about to go, oh, I let me just do this. Because there's something that, that you've been putting off that leads you into your abundance. What is it? It's something that your passion is about. Something that you're calling and you need to trust and follow in your heart space. What is it that you need to do? You need to cut off some people. You need to make some calls. You need to apologize. You need to go back to a past connection. What do you need to follow your intuition? What is it that you need to speak? You need to preach. You need to uh, lead with the two of 
one's energy i feel like you need to trust in your intuition trust in yourself have faith faith it's very important too because they say uh what work without faith is dead and so if you're doing something you have to be confident you have to know who you are. That's where the integrity comes in and your confidence, your clarity, your identity, your integrity, your sense of self with all of the sword's energy. All right. So be clear about who you are. Know what you want to manifest, what it is that you want to achieve. Okay. For example, I want to manifest. Uh, for example, let's do something specific. I want to be debt free i want to be financially abundant all right that's what you want and that is okay you know so it's about how you feel about what you want as well you are the one that's holding yourself back from your abundance how do you feel about what you want do you feel like you deserve this do you feel like you're going to receive this or are you telling yourself it is so hard and i'm not going to get there so it doesn't matter if i try or are you telling yourself that you don't deserve this or it's, these things are incredible? You've never, I, you know, I, I can't imagine. you got to start imagining, you know. This queen is here. She's dreaming. She's have, she's, I feel faith also in her energy. Trust, faith, worship, prayer, all of that energy. All of these actions that builds or faith have integrity i keep repeating myself um but that is the energy i'm getting here for you that's how you're going to create this movement you're going to start acting in alignment with what you want by writing out what you want we have the wants and the 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 air energy here that's the swords energy okay writing out what you want speaking being clear about the direction write what you want debt free you want the end of something you want to arrive at the end of being in debt so state that okay i want to be debt free what next how do i take actions how do i align myself with this how do i align with being debt free it's almost like it's saying you're already abundant. Any other messages? And you have to align with what you want. Any other messages? Any other messages? King of Pentacles. Align with what you want. King of Hearts. Ten of Wands. Help me. Just give me one message to wrap it up. One message. Not messages. One message, one message to wrap it up. All right, let's see. Align with what you want. Act now. Act as if. I, I would say, you know, with Abraham Hicks, Abraham Hicks and the law of attraction. And they say, act as if you already are. So we're going to start imagining now what is life like for me being debt free and financially abundant. What is it living with all the money in the world? like not wanting anything or being able to being able to acquire everything that my heart desires without worry or shame or guilt what does that feel like okay and so you have to start visualizing you have to start feeling because emotions are very important in manifestation Start visualizing, start feeling you into your feelings of abundance with the eight of hearts and the ace of pentacles. Your feelings of abundance, Cancerian. Start feeling happy, joyful, because whatever we, 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 we want to manifest, it's always something that's going to make us happy. What is the outcome for Cancerian's financial situation? What is the outcome? We're going to ask for a, a three month, within three months, what is the financial situation for cancer? What is cancer's financial situation? Within several months. Oh, fuck. I like that. 
Okay, I listen. The reason, the only reason. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. The only reason I went back to ask is because I'm saying there's abundance here. So feel happy now. And I see the eight of cups and I wanted to know if there's going to be a nine of cups. If you're going to get your wish fulfilled. And listen, the card came out. It's amazing. I like it. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful for that. For that response. Because that's why I shuffled to see if the, the nine would come out. Because what, what the result is going to be for your financial situation. You're going to feel abundant. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles which is financial stability here. Some of you are single, I know, taking life easy, um, working on yourself. You're going to be financially stable. That's the end result. That's literally what I'm asking for you. That's what we want to know. And I'm asking within a few months here, possibly for some of us Cancerians, we have the nine of cups. You're going to be so happy. That's what I'm feeling. You're going to be happy. So start feeling with the two nines here. We're talking about manifestation and act in accordance to what you want. Okay. I know it's easier said than done, but where where you this is a place to start. The two nines out here are confirmation enough. You know, we're saying be happy now. Feel happy now because this is hard. This is happiness. A lot of emotional fulfillment. Getting your wish fulfilled with the nine um, hearts energy. All right. And then, so you're moving from the eight, six, eight, nine. And then we have the nine of pentacles. And that is financial stability and abundance here for you. Okay. So that is the end result. When you start to act in accordance to what you want, be integrous. That's the energy. We have the king and the queen of cups here on the board for you. Okay. Uh, alignment. So just really step into your emotional balance and alignment. Feel good. Dream. I feel a lot of dream energy here. Visualization and put your emotions within your visualization. Okay. To manifest, that's how to manifest your your financial stability with the king. So, dreaming of becoming financially stable here, dreaming big, and also investing your emotions in it with the eight of pentacles, the eight of hearts, and the ace of pentacles. Invest your emotions in your dreams, in your visions. Write down what it is that you want here for this new beginning, for this freedom moving from ten of destruction our heartbreak and sorrow to the new beginnings a new pathway new things growing new ideas new businesses okay so take action you're definitely taking action by seeking the answers that you need that's taking action enough you may not know that you may not be aware that you seeking answers to get out of your financial situation is good enough but it is all right that's you make making moves Moving five, six, seven. All right. Clearing through the rubble, the seven of swords. Things are moving. There are things that the seven of swords in tarot is actually someone picking up things and moving them away. All right. So I do feel your debris are being carried away by, uh, I hear a storm. It could be, uh, you could, you, uh, maybe, um, hmm, something could be ending that really, um, or it could be someone else coming in to help you to get some clarity six five six seven all the way to the ten for me that's clarity that's movement and then new beginnings here alignment here that's alignment with a new job that's alignment with a new perspective a new idea alignment with your intuition your faith your belief your trust alignment with your creativity your passion your desires your fire energy here with the nine of wands here taking action being in go get an energy burn let it burn let um I, I like let 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 fire be left in your trail that's how passionate you should be on this journey and within your visualization techniques you want it how bad do you want it how hard do you want to be financially blessed okay that's how much intention you should put into your visualization techniques here. I'm not an expert on the law of attraction, but this is what the cards 
are saying. Money to manifest your financial abundance. Visualize using your emotional abundance. Your emotional abundance is almost... Your emotional bank balance is almost as or nearly or even more the, more important than your financial balance here, bank balance. It's how you feel about yourself that really, really matters. It's how you feel when you think about the situation that you're in. Okay, because if you keep on thinking about the situation that you're in in a negative way, you're going to keep attracting these feelings within your body. Use how you feel the negative situations, the negative energies, thought patterns to decide how you'd rather feel and start feeling that. Start expecting the things to come to you. All right. Be happy about where you are in life, that you actually have uh, this opportunity to create more. Okay. So keep visualizing. I don't I feel like the message may not. This message might not be enough for some people, but that's what I have for you in this reading. It's gone 26 minutes, and this is what I'm saying. I, I, you know, it's, it's, I feel it's very, very profound, but I, I hope I'm doing it justice. That's how I'm feeling. Um, I'm going to shuffle the, tar the shuffle the tarot cards right now, but not in this recording, and then I'll um, just do it in a new video. And see the messages that the tarot says to see if they line up or give us any um, further clarification. Because this is, it's basically saying, visualize. I do not see a lot of work and stress and you have to do all of these things to be financially independent. I literally am not seeing that for you, Ken Siren. I'm seeing that you need to be taking action. And the action that you need to be taking could be one that's vibrational, okay? Clearing up thought patterns. And when you clear up vibrational blockages, you actually f start to move physically without any hesitancy in your physical reality. All right, you actually start to take steps because you're, you don't have mental energy blockages that are interfering with your movement are interfering with the way you dis you take action, are interfering with your choices. So there's something mentally that's to be cleared up and it's, it just start to visualize your happiness now. And it's like this mirror effect with the two nines here. Visualize the happiness. I feel mirror, literally, look, I feel gazing in the mirror. That could be, um, that is a technique, that is a manifestation technique. I do not know much about it, but I have heard about the mirror technique in manifestation. My ears are ringing so someone is saying yeah girl so if you know about that uh help us out to manifest some money okay um so i'm hearing the mirror technique it's like visualize yourself happy look at yourself in the mirror um saying what you want feeling how you want just visualize yourself in the mirror being debt free try it just try it you but you have to feel happy you have to feel as if you actually are debt free you you have to use that emotion you have to be able to get yourself in a place vibrationally where okay i'm debt free or i'm financially i'm going to try it too and let's see how it works out you know we have the moon energy surrounding us in this time let's use it so we're going to go, you can use water or use the moon energy. That's what I'm feeling here. Or use the mirror, I mean. And we're going to do these techniques <laughs> and see if it helps us to get out of debt. Go in front of the mirror here and you're going to, to, to already, because the nine is completion. And this is so beautiful. The nine is completion. So you're going to say, I'm already happy. I'm already debt free. And it's not really about being debt free. It's about your happiness. It's about what being debt free means to you. It means I feel free. It means there's room to do more, to think about more creative projects. Projects. It's what does being debt free mean? So you have to feel in this energy. Look yourself in the mirror and really bring these forth. Look, these kings are visualizing. They're glowing. They're imagining. Look, oh my God, I missed it. Two nines two king is the king of heart and the king so and you can dream as big as you desire hold on moving from the nine which is manifestation to the kings and i almost missed that this is so beautiful do use that mirror technique and i hope you come back and give me some good news 
let's do that let's listen to the cards um i asked for guidance and i feel like this is profound information it's going to take effort all right it's going to take will it's going to take you knowing what you want what you believe in and it's going to bring about newness into your life believe me honestly i feel so so the king of swords came out to say focus be determined, use your willpower, be clear, be precise, take action. And it's not <laughs> all of you. And, and fo I feel focus both your masculine and feminine energy too. I, I don't know what that means exactly, but it feels like there needs to be alignment. I hear divine alignment. I hear divine alignment when I'm looking at the ace of pentacles. All of these, remember that these three cards came out together in the beginning and I'm hearing divine alignment. This ace feels like divine alignment on its own. The eight of hearts feels like divine alignment on its own. It feels like moving in your own path. And the queen of cups feels like divine alignment too. Because it feels like how she's focused. She's in her own. She feels good. You know, that's the energy. She knows who she is. It's like all of these are saying divine alignment. It, it could be literally your time to break free. All right, to so take that action. We say write out what you want. I know this video is long. Look at that. Alignment. This is all about aligning with where you desire to be. All of these cards are here for you. Believe that. And I'm thankful to my guidance system for being here. I'm going to definitely give this a try. So we're going to write out what we want. All right, to so write it out. And we're going to use the mirror technique. It's a lot of meditation. Let's see how long we should. Maybe we should do this for a couple of days. How, how much time should we do this? What is the routine? Is there a particular routine to follow? Work. <laughs> So we're going to actually be investing time in ourselves. This is self-work and visualization. This is actually working on our inside self, our sense of self, our sense of value. And now we have two eights and another ten and another two. So now we have two eights. So it's that internal work, working on following your heart. So it's literally mirror. It's all um, it's mirror energy. Whatever happiness you will receive by being financially abundant or by being debt free or whatever it is that you want with money. Oh my God, this is so amazing. You have to emulate that energy now. You have to live it, feed it, breathe it, express it. I feel the first thing you do in the morning is to affirm, I am, I am, so on and so forth. You know, whenever and as you go through your day, try to... Feel the energy still present within you. Be excited. Be enthusiastic about being debt free. About being financially abundant. It's like you're expecting good things to come into you. Be open to receiving. It's destiny. I feel like it's divine alignment. That's what the cards are saying. So align to the truth of who you are. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Any other messages that wants to come through? For Cancerians, the Cancerian that is still watching. Okay. The Cancerian that is still watching. Queen of Wands. Drive. I hear drive. Passion and desires. I hear. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I hear big things are about to happen to you. Big things are going to happen to you. That's what I'm, I heard. Okay, big things are going to happen to you. Drive. It could be with your business. <laughs> you could be aligning with someone in a business. New thing. It says like, I feel like once you start to take this action. Oh, I love this. It feels like once you start to take action, things are just, little things start coming into your world. That's what I'm saying. Once you start taking the action, the debris starts to flow. It, if it is even little by little, things are start to are going to start flowing into your experience. All right, so start taking action and doing these techniques and these practices. And then you'll just see things start appearing. You'll get calls here and offer here or there. Some investment coming through, some, some past energy. I don't know. 
some recruitment energy business offers working with other people here okay the ten of cups came out the ten of pentacles and then we have the two of pentacles which is alignment look all right so try these techniques i hope these messages help you and thank you so much for watching if this video resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey do compliment this video by leaving a thumbs up behind also share the videos with those you love especially if the messages hit home and you think they can help another person do also subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload more videos for you Thank you so much for all of your love, your guidance, um, well, your love, your support on my channel. Much love and appreciation to you. Remember, Cancer, that you can be to have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. It is all within you already. Much love.